The topic for this lesson is filters for power supplies. Neither the half wave nor the full wave rectifier is sufficient to provide the DC power required for electronic circuits since the harmonic components produce an audible noise. Filtering is essential to suppress the harmonics. The frequency response characteristics of capacitors and inductors are utilized to attenuate harmonics and produce a smooth voltage with negligible fluctuations. In its simplest form, a filter uses a capacitor to smooth out the variations in the output voltage of a rectifier. The simple circuit example is shown. From an impedance standpoint, a capacitor offers an open circuit for DC and the current due to the DC component of the voltage passes solely through the resistor. At 60 Hz and 120 Hz, the impedance of the capacitor can be made very small by selecting a fairly large value for C. The capacitor then serves as a bypass for the AC components of current in the circuit. As a result, the output voltage will be essentially DC with a small proportion of AC components. From the viewpoint of charging and discharging of an RC circuit, when the input voltage V sub S is less than the capacitor voltage V sub C, the diode conducts and a current flows. This current charges the capacitor. When the voltage V sub S is less than the capacitor voltage V sub C, the diode ceases to conduct. Now the capacitor and the resistor are isolated from the input side and the capacitor discharges through the resistor R sub L. The two cases are illustrated in the figures shown. When the diode is conducting, that is forward biased, the capacitor follows the input voltage and charges to the peak value V sub max. When the input falls below V sub max, the diode stops conducting and the capacitor begins discharging through R sub L. When the capacitor falls below V sub S, the diode begins conducting again. This action is repeated for each cycle. By proper component selection, it is possible to make the variation of the output voltage to be within a specified range. The variations in the output voltage due to the charging and the discharging is called a ripple voltage. Ripple, however, is not a desired phenomenon, and the smaller the ripple, the better the filtering. For any given input frequency, the output frequency of a full wave rectifier is twice that of a half wave rectifier as shown in this figure. Thus, a full wave rectifier is easier to filter. For the same band of resistance and capacitance values, the full wave rectifier has less ripple than does a half wave rectifier. The discharge of the capacitor is less during the shorter time interval between full wave pulses. The frequency of each waveform can be determined by the equation shown. Ripple factor is determined from the following equation, V sub R divided by V sub DC, where V sub R is the peak-to-peak -peak ripple voltage and V sub DC is the average value of the filter's output voltage. The lower the ripple factor, the better the filter. For half and full wave rectifiers, the following equations apply. V sub R is equal to 1 over the frequency times the load resistance times the capacitance times V sub max N. And V sub DC is equal to 1 minus 1 over 2 times the frequency times R sub L times C times voltage. In a half wave rectifier circuit with R sub L equal to 3.3 K ohms, C equal to 30 microfarads, and V sub max equal to 120 volts, what are the value of V sub R and V sub DC? V sub R is equal to 1 over the frequency times R sub L times C times V sub max N or 20.2 volts. V sub DC is equal to 1 minus 1 over 2 times the frequency times R sub L times C times V sub max N or 109.9 volts. When an inductor is added to the filter as shown in the figure, the ripple voltage is further diminished. A voltage divider is formed that greatly reduces ripple voltage compared to a capacitance filter. The magnitude of the ripple voltage from the filter is found by using the voltage divider equations shown. In the example shown, a 120 Hz full wave rectified voltage with a peak value of 175 volts is applied to the LC filter. Determine the filter output in terms of its DC value and the RMS ripple voltage. The DC input voltage is equal to the average voltage, which is equal to 2 times the maximum voltage divided by pi, or 111.4. V sub R n is given by the formula 0 0.308 times the maximum voltage. Thus, V sub R n is equal to 53.9 volts. V sub DC out is equal to the load resistance divided by R sub W plus R sub L times V sub DC in where R sub W is equal to 200 ohms so that V 
V sub DC out is equal to 101.3 volts. For ripple voltage calculations, we need to find X sub L and X sub C. X sub L is equal to 2 pi times the frequency times the inductance, or 377 ohms. X sub C is equal to 1 over 2 pi times the frequency times the capacitance, or 44.2 ohms. Therefore, V sub R out is equal to 7.16 volts RMS.